The Detroit plans for the future are built around their rookies and young players. This youngster, Lem Barnett, was the surprise of the season to everyone except the coaches who drafted him off the campus of Jackson State. Barney broke into the big time at what is considered the most difficult position to succeed, cornerback. When the word gets out to stay away from a rookie's area of coverage, you know you have a special player. Lim picked off a total of 10 passes during the season, which tied him for the league honor in that department. The season wasn't even 10 minutes old when number 20, rookie Lim Barney, shocked the partisan Packer backers with a 24-yard interception for the Lions' first score of the season. After three successive losses, the Lions met the Atlanta Falcons. No sooner did they have their helmets in place with Lim Barney, picked off a knob singer pass and scampered 45 yards into the end zone. The second quarter started with Lim Barney as the star. Barney's first interception was the game's first score. Bruce Maher's block at the 10 eliminated the last Viking pursuers and Barney scored unmolested. The Browns will not score again today. Part of the reason is number 20, rookie Lem Barney. Cornerback Lem Barney, who as 67's defensive rookie of the year had 10 interceptions made the going miserable for opposing runners. And again in 68, when receivers looked over their shoulders, it seemed that Barney was always there. But then, when, when an attempted field goal was short, Lem Barney managed to scramble back 94 yards for Detroit's lone score. All in all, it was the kind of day in Detroit when even the fans couldn't hang on to the ball. As San Francisco tripped its way past Detroit, 14-7. Before the largest Ram crowd this season, the Lions scored their seven points thoughtfully on the opening kickoff. Lim Barney going 98 yards for the score. The best offense the Lions could muster was their defense as they continued to pick off Joe Capp's passes with abandon. This interception by Lem Barney, number 20, is so spectacular in its abandon, it deserves a closer look. Apparently unfazed, Barney reeled off a 62-yard return from his own goal line. Finally, number 20, all-pro cornerback Lem Barney capped off the Lion route and a great day of his own with a 74-yard punt return that finalized the shutout at 24-0. Sometimes he eluded their grasp, but his flight was a portent of looming errors, like this interception by Lem Barney. But unbelievably, the wrath of some of the Green Bay crowd was directed at none other than their idol of the 60s, quarterback Bart Starr. Lem Barney's perfect interception touchdown helped to seal the doom of the Packers and their leader. Hello. 
Then the coup de grace was delivered by Lim Barney, number 20. As the brash defensive back scooped up a rolling punt and shot 61 yards to a touchdown, his second score of the year. There's no question about it. The Lions are thinking about big orange machines, but they're the kind that you can find in Miami, especially around January. But number 20, Lim Barney, sealed Cleveland's fate with a fifth Lion theft of the afternoon. Number 20, Barney, is a talented all-pro cornerback who is doubly valuable as a kick returner. And his runs often left the Lions deep in Packer territory. In the fourth quarter, Barney again displayed more of his dazzling talent as he knifed in front of Carroll Dale to steal a pass and race to a touchdown. Barney's 49-yard run iced the 20-0 Lion victory and sent Detroit into a playoff with the Dallas Cowboys. Thousands of fans poured onto the field in an emotional expression for their Lions. All season long, they had thrilled at the passing of Landry, marveled at the running of Barney, but they had missed the greatest run of all. Up on the stadium roof, someone was executing a perfect hook-and-go pattern. A young admirer hooked the Lions flag and hot-footed away with a trophy. But Pastorini completed only 15 of 40 passes, and he threw four interceptions. This one by number 20, Lim Barney, accounted for Detroit's first touchdown. So on third down, John Brody brought out the rocket launcher but his missile to Dick Witcher was shut down by Lem Barney, who returned 23 yards to the San Francisco 40. That someone was Lim Barney, who belted the Saints silly, then stole an Aaron Archie pass and whistled 64 yards on the return. On a frozen, crystal cold day in Minnesota, the Vikings thawed their field with flamethrowers, as usual. The Lions got their chance to score when Lem Barney picked off a Gary Quazzo pass and returned it into Viking territory. Last week, for the first time in their history, the Pittsburgh Steelers entered a new season as a reigning champion. Without Franco Harris, Terry Bradshaw showed his arm more often than in the past, and Detroit's Lem Barney was waiting. It didn't take long for John Brody to set the tone for an extraordinary game. Lim Barney's interception set up the game's first score. Lim Barney's second interception set up a field goal. Eagles were only 13 yards from the winning score when Tom Sullivan fumbled. Lim Barney recovered and raced the Lions out of harm's way and into a first place tie with the Minnesota Vikings in the NFC Central. The Vikings have said they fear the Lions more than anyone in the division. Perhaps when they play each other this week, we'll find out why. For the day, the Lions' defense seemed to move the ball better than the Bears' offense, which amassed a grand total of just 79 yards. Even their punting game was turned against them. But then Lim Barney can almost make any tackler look foolish.
last week against Detroit, rookie Sammy White did an un-Viking-like thing, neglecting to carry the ball all the way into the end zone. And only an occasional mental lapse reminds opponents that Minnesota can make mistakes. However, unlike Kenny Stabler, who leads an offense with a cool and calculating precision of a veteran, Seattle's rookie signal caller, Jim Zorn, directs the expansion Seahawks with little more than a wing and a prayer. This youngster, Lem Barnes, was the surprise of the season to everyone except the coaches who drafted him off the campus of Jackson State. Lynn Barney had shown once again why he is considered one of the most exciting players in the game. That someone was Lynn Barney who belted the Saints silly.